We have Shadow, Jund, Esper Control, Blue White Control, um, Blue Red Phoenix, Jeskai Phoenix, Orzhov Stoneblade, Yorion Blink, and uh, Land Destruction. And what is Red Bant? Um, I don't know. Um, uh, Blake wrote that down, but it's it's just like the four color like domain deck sort of. Oh, or, okay. Or maybe it's even five color. I don't know. So it's like a domain list. Yeah. Don't mind my cracking a can here. <laughs> Sorry. Good. All right. You ready, Terry? I'll give him the thumbs up. Yeah, the middle table is good. You need to get the other tables done. So, uh, what's the, the new guy's name again? Is it Corey? Because I think I saw Corey. I don't know. Yeah, Corey Farnsworth versus Kegel. Okay. I'm going to start the round timer. So, Death Shadow versus Jeskai Phoenix. They win a box of any standard set. Uh, a draft booster, right? A, a draft or set booster, either oh, or. or. A set booster box. Yep. Okay. It is an empty box. I like it. We will. We will. Uh, I'll surgically extract the packs from the bottom, leave the box uh, looking sealed and full, and we'll hand him an empty box. That's pretty genius. That's a good business strat. We should uh, TikTok that. <laughs> Our Winnabox winner, they hand him an empty box. If a control player wins, they deserve an empty box. I like it. I 100% agree. Shocking down to 18, Dragon Rage Channeler. Fetching again for Phoenix. Looks like Jonah went first. Shocking as well. 14. I feel like Jonah's playing Death Shadow as well. <laughs> yeah, uh, any aggressive four color or three color mana base is just, it, you just have to shock you quite do. a few times. Yeah. There's really yeah, there's just really no way around it because those lands have the ability to come in untapped and yeah. you have to do it. The nice thing is that uh Jeskai Phoenix gets to gain life. Yeah, with uh Faithful Mending. Right. Helps soften that, and then that's what we're gonna see here. Manamorphos into Faithful Mending, so if uh, Nice able to pitch a Phoenix. Phoenix Stimulage. I don't think he has a third spell though. Right? He probably just I think he only has two this turn. I mean, he's out of mana. He'd have to have... Right. Yeah, he'd have to pitch like a Lava Dart or something like that. I agree, the striker. I pl I've played a lot of burn, too, and I love to hear uh, that shock. It's a free bolt. Taryn in the booth with me play, um been playing uh, Blitz. He's been playing uh, Boris Blitz. Yeah, some people call it like all in prowess or whatever. Um, but yeah, I've been really liking that. I just ran a league before this event of mono red prowess. Um, and it felt pretty good. I went three, two. I, I run into two chalice decks somehow. Like, how does that? Ouch. <laughs> Another DRC for Damien. And then thought sees double trigger. Two lands get milled over. So we got a, a Faithful Mending, Serum Visions, Bolt. No land, though. Is that... What's uh, Faithful Salvaging? Faithless the other Salvaging. Faithless Salvaging. Thank you. Yep. Card's really nice in the Phoenix list because of the free spell with Rebound. Right. So I'm a little shock, shocked Damien took Bull. I actually might have considered the salvaging there because of that. 
So yeah. I think Joan is trying to hit a... He put a land on top. Okay, there's a Fe another Phoenix in hand. Looks like this might just be a little slow, though, because this Thought Scour is not going to get the land on top. So, okay, he, he just mills with Thought Scour, sees if he can get, get lucky and hit the land drop anyways. Ah, uh, Faithless Looting. I was a mono red Phoenix player, and I loved it. I absolutely, that was my favorite deck. There's the Faithless Salvaging. Discard a card, draw a card with Rebound. Yeah, I, I kind of like Damien taking the bolt there. Um, these DRCs are going to start putting in work and... Not having an answer to him? Yeah, and Jonah had an awkward hand to try to get a triple spell anyways. Yeah, missing missing that land drop is pretty big. Damien's down to 10. And dash in the rag. Exiling a Dimming Lich off the top. That's a decent hit. Damien does need to be careful about dealing a lot of damage to himself. I like. I know he's trying to play a big shadow, but the Phoenix deck can just... Well, I mean, a land off the top here, triple spell is six damage from the Phoenix coming back. And if Jonah happens to somehow get into a Morphos and able to bring back a Demi Lich as well, that would be game. Yeah, well, the Demi Lich won't be able to attack or anything. Oh, because it has so many. It's yeah. right. Um, But I, there are draws that could, uh, where you could just win the game on the spot, but. Something like hitting maybe a third Phoenix into and and then like a Manamorphose and a Bolt or something like that. Right. Um, the Striker, I love you. <laughs> I love you too. Mono <laughs> Red was my deck. Also, I was heartbroken when the ban when they banned it because of Hogak. Yeah, paying for other okay. decks sins. There's an extra Phoenix and a gut shot. That's Exaxes, I think, if he... I don't think he got the last Phoenix out of his hand, though. He didn't have a way to get it out of his hand. Yep, it's still there. That would have been um, Exaxes, because that would have been exactly nine. So, wow. So those are... N yeah. And Jonah's at nine. Yeah, there you go. Thank you. Wow. But What a uh, turn for Jonah. Oh, Damien was at nine because he had already fetched for a swamp. But uh, what's up, Q Bunny? Damien has unholy heat anyways here. So he was holding back a little bit of an answer. Yeah, with the treasure. Um, takes three from the remaining Phoenix, and that's a big yeah, death it's shadow. A, it's, now it's a big shadow. So oh, and Damien just has the dress down too. So yeah, Jonah's definitely dead there. Very close game. Jonah almost that turn, just like you said, Damien has to be careful. He did have the unholy heat back though to protect himself, but so gotta assume Jonah will be on the play here. Definitely. Um I don't think I don't really know what all Damien could even have sideboard wise. He he probably has like some number of like soul guide lanterns, which would be good. Or maybe even relics, but I I doubt the relics. I don't think the shadow he is running relics. Well, relic ban uh, exiles both graveyards. I don't think Damien want his exiled. Some of those decks like Merc Tide, and they were just running relic. Um, Leyline of the because, Void because of how good it is against Drown in the Lock. Because you can just and what would Phoenix bring in? Maybe I see a prismatic ending. I wonder if that was they, brought in I or main deck. Just main deck. A lot, a lot of them do. Four but... ending with the Jeskai Phoenix. Leyline of the Void? I'd, if he has it, I doubt he's running a Leyline of the Void in the sideboard, though. I, I think Damien did update his list a little bit today. He's got uh, Street Wraiths. Street Wraiths? Okay, I'm not Yeah, I'm not sure what all he did to, to update it after the Luris ban. Turn one Ragavan. A lot of... Um, Pioneer, what did water win a box? I think it's just Funder being an idiot. Funder, Funder <laughs> Wonk, don't make me time you out. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I love you. Um, maybe it's probably because it says Jeskai Phoenix. 
So he thinks it's Pioneer. <laughs> oh, gotcha. <laughs> Gotta believe uh, Ragavan's gonna get the prismatic ending treatment here. Yeah, I would imagine, unless Jonah is just like, yeah, he's going for it. The only, only case I would see is like, uh, he's like, well, if I just Faithless Salvaging here, I get to like double or triple Phoenix him next turn, so I'll actually ignore it, but it's very hard to just ignore Ragavan. Yeah. Um, before I was so rudely interrupted by Thunderwonk with Pioneer talk. No, I'm joking. <laughs> Anyways, I was going to say that a lot of, I've seen a lot of Death Shadow lists are actually uh, running Murktides now. Yeah, I've seen some running four Murktide. Seen some running just a couple. Do we have any viewers out at the SCG Con going to compete in the big event tomorrow? Yeah, SCG Indy. Good luck if you are. If you if you are, jump in our Discord and keep us posted on how the event's going and how everybody's doing. Yeah, I'll link our Discord. We got a pretty active Discord. Talking about all, all kinds of things, magic and just gaming in general. Bit of a trek to get there for you. So Jonah starts off with a Seer Visions. I think Damien took his Metamorphose. Oh, he hit a gut shot. So we'll get to see a Phoenix come back here for sure. Yeah, pitch a Phoenix there. Yep. So gut shot you. Jonah needs to pay the two life. Only had the one Phoenix. Uh, he gained two off Mending. So I think he just kind of okay. gained two and paid two. He didn't change the dice from... 19 to 21. I gotcha. So Damien down to 11. But I see... Uh, two shadows. Yes. Yeah, two shadows. In hand. So he might just start off with the iteration and see if he hits a land here. Do we have the Jeskai Phoenix list? Uh, no, we don't have the player's deck list, um, but if you jump in our Discord, I can probably get him to send it to you. Yeah, I'm sure he would link it. Uh, join our Discord, and then his name in Discord is like Johan007, I think. Yeah, if you just go into the modern channel in the Discord and say, hey, I'd love to see that Jeskai list. Yeah, I'll, I'll tell him to post it in there. Okay, Damien fetch shocks down to eight again. You won your FNM with Mill. That's gross. That's awesome. You're a bad person. And then the the bwahaha. <laughs> the evil laugh. All right, Damien is at a pretty dangerous eight here. That's a consider. That's a decent start for Jonah. Um, I think he's still at 19 because he mending up to 21 and then got shot down to 19. Uh, no other spells for Jonah here. They, they should be um, keeping their life total anyways. So I'm, I, th I think it's pretty accurate. Oh, he was at 17 game two lose two? I think he was at 19. It's... Uh, okay, so... I'll ask him. All right, Jonah got in there. Ooh, that's a K command for Damien, so that's actually going to be lethal. Okay, so he didn't pay for the gut shot with his life. All right, thanks. Thanks for the catch. I misunderstood what happened then. He's going to do some penance later. <laughs> so yeah, um, Damien with that Kologon's command, giving him two points of reach there was actually lethal. That That's crazy. If he didn't draw a way to get an extra two points of damage in there, Jonah would have uh, won that game.